Okay, another script written by Seth MacFarlane himself, and we'll talk about it after this. Hello out there, I'm the Oldest Nerd, and uh, in this particular episode where uh, we rejoin our friends of the Orville, uh, they are escorting a historian with uh, all kinds of 21st century product placement. There's a can of Spam, there's a can of Coke, uh, there's cigarettes, there is uh, an Apple iPhone in which uh, uh, is prominently advertised during the show, interestingly. So it was obviously some kind of product placement, but cleverly used. Uh, they used something that was very similar to a Next Generation episode where uh, Jordy uh, causes an instructional program on how to repair the ship come to life as Dr. Leah Brahms. And uh, in his case, they find out when the real Leah Brahms arrives that she's nothing like the simulation that the computer put together. And while there's no way to prove that that's the case in the simulation that is put together for Gordon, um, we do see um, some parallels between those episodes. But really what this episode about was about is about addiction, and addiction comes in different kinds of packages. First of all, we want to point out Tim Russ was the historian who was accompanying the Orville, uh, playing a, uh, a very good part there, but all too short. Uh, one good line by him was uh, that uh, they were uh, going to have to decode many text messages that were in there. Uh, for instance, uh, they knew that uh, w WTF was an acronym for Wireless Communication Facility. I thought that was kind of funny. So uh, anyway, addiction. Uh, we find this in uh, Bordis and Clyden. Uh, apparently, Mocklins are very susceptible to nicotine and after trying a cigarette for the first time are hopelessly addicted until uh, they uh, are pretty much caught in the act of, of basically stinking up the whole ship and um, they're ordered to sick bay to come up with some kind of antidote to their addiction and uh, the doctor says that it's been so many centuries since smoking was popular that they're going to have to kind of re uh, research uh, just uh, what it is that can help people quit and so she goes to work on it and in the meantime uh, they are trying to quit cold turkey and not doing very well uh, we see Clyden sneaking one in an airlock and then uh, as Bordas is confronting him about that, uh, finds that there's a cigarette hidden in a planter and then turns the tables and says to Bordas, okay, uh, where are you hiding all of these? And we find that they're in the top of a picture, they're um, in a plant, they're in a pillow and a whole bunch of them. Some, some laughs played for this, but uh, a serious undertone that um, uh, addiction is something that is not restricted to just your run-of-the-mill drugs, but can be even uh, to the idea of computer simulations. Um, the phone itself is something that uh, I know that... Uh, uh, my phone now tells me how many hours I spend on it a week. And it's, even though I use a lot of it for corresponding with you, uh, it's an alarming amount of time that I spend uh, working with this phone. And it can be addictive, and uh, this is just brought to its 25th century um, conclusion in that you can take the contents of it put it into a simulation and then become infatuated with someone who's been gone 500 years. However, there was a good line in here where um, I think oh, it, was, it was Kelly. It was Kelly that uh, that had a very good line here uh, talking to Gordon after all was said and done and said, um, you know, over 400 years, um, this person is still able to get a guy. Uh, we should all be so rare. I thought that was a very good line. Yeah. We also had an opportunity to see Gordon and his singing voice again, and uh, that was uh, uh, very 
nice right at the end, a nice payoff at the end of the episode. So um, a good solid episode with a good solid message for the Orville. Uh, I enjoyed it. I hope you did too. And I'd like to know what you think about it in the comments. Please leave that for me and uh, we'll be back. Uh, they're going to be off for the next three weeks. So we're just going to have to do without them for a little while. And there's only two shows or rather uh, three shows left, three shows left uh, before the end of the season. So um, three weeks off, then three more shows. Uh, we'll try to hold together until then. So until then, and we'll have some things in between to keep you busy. Don't go far.